Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! <gasps> the Living Stones! They probably brought back food! <laughs> Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? Hey, what's the point of a carrot? You can't eat. They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look. <laughs> Well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you'll launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Da ha! There it is! Wash? Sure, it's you, Wash. I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away. You don't recognize me? It's Magnus. Hey, Magnus, of course. <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry. Hey, what? Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is Wash acting weird to you? Uh -oh. uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? Magnus is a wild guy, 100%. The Living Stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy. Everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. You're right. We gotta help Magnus. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop! Are you crazy? That's my bull! Domestic life has rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl, and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow, meow, meow. 
<laughs> Hilarious! Do it again! Meow! Meow! Yay! My kibble! Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? <sighs> it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? <sighs> That's a uh, Vic. Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna run! Who's he, your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. <laughs> Hey, Wash! You there? Over here! I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage! What? That's not fair! Magnus has already eaten my share! There's no way I'm sacrificing myself! Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about, making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You <laughs> couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again. No? <laughs> Is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First you have to ask the masters. Oh, uh, this is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> You haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. Wash, you gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see there's a fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! That's you right, you're you're right. Right. Hey. hey, look! If it isn't, why? Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I got to talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kind of need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you got to do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. 
<sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Wash was wrong! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream. Shall we move things up a gear? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah, that's <laughs> the Washington Good we know and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> nineteen, nineteen. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, <laughs> climb aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? This kid is my buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstone's house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Think! Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase! <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? <sighs> See you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the Exterminatrix, your 24-7 emergency pest control solution. Huh? Oh, row, 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 <laughs> row, 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 What's got into you? That's enough, Washington. Row, 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 Honey, whoa, can't whoa, you see whoa, he wants to play? Whoa. All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, whoa, whoa, fetch, whoa, little whoa, doggy. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa, whoa. go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? 
The mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, a.k.a. the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao! Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So oh, where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I worked for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild animal fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. I've got it all figured out. How what? about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Oh, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin. All the exits are blocked. We're done for. You'll send this bag to the forest for sure. Never. Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. It is. If you hadn't woken up the living stones... What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. 
It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's... It's... It's worse! A totally new species! I'm about to discover a totally new species! It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor! It's disgusting! I've never smelled anything like it! Quick! We gotta help them! Uh-uh. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's sure to work. Girls. You really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it, it won't matter. There's no danger for you, you're just a standard issue pet cat. Standard issue, huh? I see, the answer is no. Uh, um, I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face with <gasps> cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please, have mercy. Not the seven-year chabashu. A new odor, what is it? It's, it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist! That's enough. What's going on? Let us in! Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. Mission accomplished! Now everyone, head for shelter! Victory! I've got you now, you vile unidentified creature with your putrid odor! Thanks to you, I'll be famous again! I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. Hmm? What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something, yeah? <laughs> Amazing! Make the most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Mud in your eyes or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So, so? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez! Your tattoo is totally awesome! What? A tattoo? Now that is classy! A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Oh, it's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Uh, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. 
Uh, 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 for sure, I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. Super soft. Two ply, 12 rolls. Three ply, six for, uh, there. Furry comfy. Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about... Tattoos! Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. He'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! Whoa! These ones are way too awesome. I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila! You! Meow! Furry comfy. Exactly Be what hard. we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. <laughs> you have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in wow. your Wow! Did you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm-hmm. I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Whoa! Yeah, you guys are awesome! Whoa! You guys are heavyweights! Oh, yeah. You look amazing with those. <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah? More like big-time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. Mm -hmm. Come on. We're going to go show off our stuff to someone else. You, Victoria. If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on. You've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Now all you need some long hair going down your neck, and you'll be perfect. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez? How super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec. You mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? Mm -hmm. And now, this month's top ten tattoos. Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we got to think, Sam. If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got to- Hey there, guys! <laughs> really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we want eight more that we can pick up right now! <laughs> <laughs> we absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. Hey, stop everything now! Tattoos, they're for life! Die! Uh, the guy on the TV who said so! In full teenage rebellion, John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life! Huh? But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? That's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's gonna be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby, and besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody! We're going back 
through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pound. <laughs> Perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash. Be a good dog. Let go of Sam. We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. Ah! Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Wash, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes and then we'll be goners! go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win 10 <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. 10! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? Hmm. Ah! I told you they were inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash, what is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. Yeah. 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 That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> you, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle has flown away! No doubt about it. These are the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now, too. And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. Thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam, but you better thank the alien. Thanks, Thanks you, you too, too alien, alien friends. friends. Honey. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website, and I won oh. my weight in toilet paper! Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm going to miss you so much! Honey, we're only going on vacation for a few days, you know. But we were supposed to all go together, Mr. I forgot if animals were permitted at the yoga retreat. But I've stocked up on kibble and they have the yard to stretch and run around in. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. See you later, alligators! <laughs> and have a great vacation! What's a vacation? Think about it, Sam. If they're supposed to be great, then it's surely something to eat. Like candy they've hidden around the house. Yay! Yay! Vacations! Where did they hide the vacations? <sighs> Boy, you guys are dumb. <laughs> this is a vacation. Whoa, check it out! Humans without their costumes on. Wash, do you think we could have a vacation too? Do they exist for animals too? Uh, yes and no. Vacations are first and foremost meant for humans who work all year long. It's their rest period, if you like. And since us cats, we spend pretty much our whole lives resting, it's kind of like we're on a permanent vacation. Speaking of which, <sighs> it's time for my nap. Ready? <laughs> without them around, the ideal vacation. Get it, get it, get it! Get it. Ah! Ah! Just like a real dog! This, Eugenie, is the result of years of hard work 24-7. And sometimes, you know, I just get so tired. Hey, what if we went on vacation? Yeah. Didn't Vic just say that cats were always on vacation? Real cats, perhaps, but not you, Sam, nor me, nor any of us. We work just like humans by disguising ourselves and meowing and barking. We work hard as actors every single day. Of course, Wash is right. Yeah, we deserve vacations too. <laughs> take a real vacation, you have to leave home. Look. Wow! That makes me want to take off and fly, too! Oh, uh, yeah! Why don't we go to a cool place like that? Without our costumes? Way too dangerous. Right, so whose turn is it on the ironing board? Nah, I'm staying put. It looks like too much work. Away from here! <laughs> oh. Look, Wash, it's vacation time. Everybody has left. The neighborhood is empty. All right. Okay, we'll go. <sighs> Alone at last, and the TV all to myself. Since the actor Juan Carlos has gone on vacation, your favorite soap, Sentimental Hospital, will not be broadcast this week. What? No! <sighs> Walking around without any clothes. Awesome!
awesome! What a great idea, taking a vacation. By the way, where are we going? We've got to find a super place, a dream vacation, paradise on Earth. I've got an idea! Yeah, yeah, right. Not enough sand. Not enough water. Ah, no way! Reminds me too much of the forest. I found it! Follow me! Hey, what the heck are those bums doing on our turf? Wow! Wait, this is even better than my wildest dreams! All that's missing is the roast chicken! Ta-da! Ha-ha! <laughs> Good move, Sam! Bunch of savages. Yuck. Boy, talk about a dream vacation. Hey, this is our vacation spot. So get lost, you bunch of hicks. Hey, chill, guys. There's room here for all of us. We can get along like civilized animals, can't we? You? Civilized animals? Bunch of savages, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. This hey. is a vacation spot for city animals. So if you want a place to relax and vacation, mm. find something in your stinking forest. Go on, get lost. <laughs> Who do they think they are? We live in this city, too. And we were even here before them. Yes, so they're the ones you have to leave. What do we do now? Go home? Are you kidding? We're not going to get chased out by a bunch of silly raccoons. I didn't want to resort to this, but since they're treating us like a bunch of savages, we're going to show them what real savages are really like. Rawr. This place is ours, so get out! Rawr. Have you guys looked in a mirror? Oh, I'm so scared! <laughs> no, I just don't understand. Usually when we do that, it scares everyone to death. Maybe after having imitated household pets for so long, we've totally lost our touch with our wildness. Yeah, yeah, get lost! Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm really gonna lose my cool. Go back to your dunghill, you bunch of hicks. That reminds me of the forest. <laughs> Remembered what it was like to be a real savage. Sam, the Living Stones, they're coming home. Now we've got to get. 
get home quickly or put on our costumes. Sam, if you keep this up, we're all going to get sent back to the forest. Well, life at the Living Stones is almost like a vacation, actually. I got a bit carried away. No hard feelings? Hurry up, Sam! Those guys are completely wacko. Bunch of savages! <laughs> hey, sweetie pies! Where are you? Too late! We're goners! Uh, I'm warning you now. The next time, you're on your own. Hurry up! They're coming out! Ah, oh, there you are. You don't know how much I've missed you, my darlings. I couldn't really go on vacation without you guys. So we're all going to the beach together. <gasps> I just have to finish loading the car. Thanks, Vic. But, uh, say, is it like because you missed us so much that you saved us? Huh? Say what? What? Me? No way. Are you nuts? Really? Oh, that's so cute. Hey! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey, what a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament! <laughs> no way! Never! Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? <laughs> and that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Hey, can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but pause off. I promise. <laughs> oh. A taste oh. what? <laughs> We didn't do anything, Vic! We're totally innocent! <laughs> you should have seen the expression on your faces! Whoa, sis! What a great imitation! Whoa! It's, like, so pretty! Oh, there you are! <laughs> 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 Victoria ever finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Ah! <laughs> Meow. Louder. Meow. Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? No time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for cat versus cat. Oh, right! The tournament! Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? 
Say there, Fluffy, you know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley. Hey, that's enough. Back to rehearsing, Nugget. I know exactly how we're gonna get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive! Okay, let's test you out! Awesome! Didn't feel a thing! <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline! <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew! All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament! I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Yes, 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 yes. Who is gonna turn his opponents into mushy cat food? No one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner! <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. Yeah! Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right, then. Like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh, no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Uh-oh, looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! And the winner of the first round by default is Sam. Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! That was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow. <laughs> Why do you like me? Meow. Okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. No, oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. Whoa, now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course! Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. <laughs> With a meow like that, we're going to win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? <laughs> Sorry, 
Wait, were you trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> Team that I coached with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! Huh? The for the last round of Cat vs. Cat or the rain. We're gonna win for sure! <laughs> Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! Seconds timeout. We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't me out. What are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us. Where's my golden ball? Hey, Victoria, can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! That was one close call, guys. <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's up, Wash? Aren't you having breakfast with us? I didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah? Hey! Whoa! Ever thought of packing on a beauty mask? Or at least a little facial scrub? Yeah! A mud mask will do miracles! Enough already! I think someone is spying on us. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't know. Maybe someone who knows we're not who we pretend to be and who's gonna blackmail us or worse, denounce us to the animal pound! Talk about paranoia. I always thought you watched too many spy films. A fox's nose is never, ever wrong. 
Honey, it's a done deal. The new neighbor has agreed. Super! That granny cupcake is such a sweetie. <sighs> and here we go again. What? Oh, no! It all makes sense now. You guys still don't get it. The Livingstones are undercover spies. They've just been contacted for a mission. Ridiculous. They're only leaving for the weekend, and someone is going to look after us. It's just our new neighbor, Granny Cupcake. Oh, hello there, my little friends. I've heard so much about you. Boy, she looks shady. Oh, please. She's just a sweet old lady, and you've been watching too many movies, Wash. I brought you treats! Whoa! You're going to be in excellent hands. No, don't leave. We're in danger. <laughs> you see, Wash, there was nothing to worry about. We've never been so spoiled. She even knitted us a hat. I swear she's hiding something. Believe me. Let's go rummage through her stuff. <sighs> Listen, Wash, I've had it up to my whiskers. I'd rather take another nap than continue listening to you spouting garbage. Uh, Granny Cupcake is trying to divide the ranks. That's so she can chew, Wash, and enjoy. <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm going to rummage through her stuff on my own. <clears throat> She has to be hiding something. Ah! All right. Now that everyone is awake, everybody get inside on the double. Ah! you she was shady. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the only Lieutenant General authorized. Or, if you prefer, O-L-G-A, Olga. And don't pretend you don't know what I'm saying because I know you know. <laughs> Excellent. So, I am a secret agent specialized in the art of disguise. Just see for yourself. Now, as you are going to see, I have been spying on you for quite some time. And I know everything! Oh, we're as good as back in the forest, guys! Mm -hmm. Under no circumstance do I want to send you back to the forest. What? She understands what we're saying? Yes, I do. I graduated summa cum laude in animal language, which makes it practical for recruiting you. Recruiting us? To do what? We have noticed your ability to pass yourselves off as pets and infiltrate this human household. You have shown great potential for becoming animal spies. Animal spies? Household pets make for awesome spies. Indeed, who would ever suspect them? No one, especially if they don't talk. Whoa! A whole new life awaits you, my future comrades! <laughs> Some vitamin powered kibble, courtesy of the government. <laughs> you are going to need to be in tip top shape before your mission begins. Can you believe it? We are secret agents. I've never eaten such delicious kibble. It's pretty cool living off the government, huh? Uh, what exactly is the government anyway? Washington, what a surprise! Sweet dreams, buddy! 
Finally, I'll be able to put all of my talents to work. Physical and mental. This is the dream of a lifetime. Boy, we're going to have fun. Yeah, it's as if we were all going on vacation together. Oh, yeah. Well, then, uh, what should I pack? Hmm, this one is bigger, but I prefer the color of this one. This one. This one, and no, no, not that one. This one. But you don't even know how to read, Wash. Yeah, well, that never stopped me from appreciating great literature. Ah, I found Victoria in the laundry room. It's just awful. She is. She is asleep. Cats are indeed fascinating creatures. I have never, ever seen anyone nap so soundly. Yep. And she won't be waking up anytime soon. I gave her a tranquilizer that would knock out a blue whale. But that's horrible! Victoria! Now just calm down and march back to the living room. Someone is going to be picking you up very soon. There can't be any witnesses. <laughs> Leave without saying goodbye to Victoria. Silence! You are going to have to learn to shut up and listen. What in the world is that mess in that suitcase? You are forbidden to have any of your old belongings in your new life. This is how you are going to be traveling. I'll send you to headquarters. There, you'll receive your equipment and be sent to your new assignments. North Pole for Sam. But it's cold up there. The Amazon for Susie. But I'll get swallowed whole by a giant snake. Australia for Eugenie. But I'm allergic to kangaroos. And finally, England for Washington. Oh, no. It rains there all the time. I hate the rain. But this means that we're not leaving together. We're going to be separated. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Olga, for having thought of us for such a prestigious job, but uh, it's just not our style. Hey there! Not so fast, little guy. If you don't want to go on your missions, I shall be obliged to reveal your true identity. <laughs> so what is it? Mission or animal pound? Oh, no! Not the pound! Well, then, let's get a move on. <laughs> I am so happy to see that you are being reasonable. Listen, I've got a plan. We warn the mailman once we're in the van, okay? Great idea! Oh, I forgot to tell you. This box is totally soundproof, thanks to soundproofing material that interestingly enough smells like cupcakes. <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. What you must remember is that no one will be able to hear you scream. Yep. We're trapped like a bunch of rats. Yay! What's that noise? Hey there, gang. Did you miss me? How did you do that, Vic? What about that whale tranquilizer? The old pill in the cat food trick? Ha! <laughs> what an amateur. I knew the old lady had a trick up her sleeve, so I pretended to be asleep in order to jump in at the right moment. Wow! Thanks a ton, Vic. I just love cupcakes. <laughs> ha! The mailman! Hmm. Bye -bye, Bye -bye, Bye -bye, cupcake. Oh, just look at that. How cute they are. We'll be there in just a sec, darlings. <laughs> Frankly, Victoria, if there's one of us who deserves to be a spy, it's you. 